Hey everybody, welcome to Playism Live. We had some audio issues our last time out. Nobody was able to hear us and there was a bizarre ghost voice saying the word trial over and over again. So we're trying this again. It's late night, so there's probably not a lot of people uh, listening or watching, rather. Uh, but we're going to be putting this up on YouTube for everybody to see. Uh, I am Nyan, as always. And now we finally have a mic for... Oh, yeah. I'm on the mic. This is Josh from Playism. So now I'll be playing and trying to talk as well. So I don't think you got any voice last time. So as you can see, this is a game where you run an apartment as an old devil. This guy, this bald guy right here. And you put in these little cute little monsters, and they pay you rent, so you can take over the world. I think I think the one thing that I really love about this game is actually uh, just like the mixture of both apartment management, which is kind of like the first part of it, and then like the the actual battle stuff that happens uh, once you start undertaking quests, which we'll see in a little bit. Yeah, so you jump in here, and you can kick guys out pretty easily, just double clicking on them, basically adjust the rent per apartment. You can buy furniture, which is to make them happy. If they're happier, then they'll fight better for you, basically. And it'll be easier for them to make families and all kinds of other crazy stuff. And you can go in, and they'll give you hints sometimes. Like this little guy, Ms. Tun, wants a, a lamp. So we'll get a lamp. And raise his goddamn rent. You're heartless. He's a single he's a single man, but you know. Oh, oh, my favorite guys are here. Get him some exercise equipment. The wolves love their exercise equipment. They never let go of their shovels. Nope. So the whole idea with these monsters is that uh, you've got individual monster names and types, but then you've also got families, and each of the monsters falls into a certain family. Uh, and the way that families kind of mix uh, work into the mechanics is that certain family types don't like other family types. So uh, it's important to get the right mixture of the right monsters that you want um, and make sure that other monsters living in your building don't become unhappy because of the types of families they're living in their building. Yeah, it's actually pretty uh, clever. These are the two guys, these are the four that hate each other. So elementals hate abyssals and demons hate demon humans. It's nice that they put them right across from each other like that. I never noticed that before. Yeah, no, that's true. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's easier to just remember that. And the undead have no problems with the cheapies, right? Nope, nope, it's just these four, I believe. Alrighty. Actually, do you want to click on, uh, do you want to go back to the base here real quick? I just wanted to, wanted to click on one of them. Um, just click on any of them, doesn't matter which one. So you'll see that some of these are blacked out. Uh, that basically means that you haven't encountered any of these creatures yet. Um, but it'll give you, like, it can, it offers hints on what they are. Like, it'll say, like, long range or melee attack. And it basically gives you some idea of what you're going to be looking forward to later in the game in terms of what you want to aim for. Uh, if you're... If you're sort of, if your house is missing some certain type of character. Yeah. And as you get later, it, like, it changes up. Like, eventually you get melee magic, which is a pretty weird one. Oh, really? I didn't, uh, I totally yeah. forgot about these that. Yeah, these ones are actually hard to unlock, because then you can't ever use a demi-human. And they're pretty useful, especially these guys. Right, yeah. Yep. Usually the last ones are a little bit harder to use, but strong. So let's uh, get things going a little bit faster. I want something special for this last one, honestly. Maybe a bone elephant. Uh, I don't want to do a quest yet. And right. Yet. So this is. Go yeah, ahead. This is this is the this is the second half of the game, really, where, where once you have started making your residents happier and buying the furniture, um, heroes, warriors, mages, pirates, ninjas, whatever, they're all going to come and attack the building, loot the place, and uh, run off with uh, their ill-gotten gains. So it's really up to you to, uh, as the player, to knock on the doors by just clicking on the doors of your residents to get them to come out and defend uh, the building um, against uh, all the quote-unquote heroes that come. Um, so here, this sort of tooltip is talking more about the fact that you really only have two two ways to influence what your monsters do, where uh, it is to come out and attack or retreat. Uh, but how you juggle your uh, characters using those two simple uh, actions actually um, 
creates a lot of complexity as you have more and more characters living in the building. So, so Josh, why, why is, what is it that you like the the bone elephants so much? Oh, uh, they're just high defense. It's nice to use them as tanks in the early game. Yeah, I guess the cheapies are just kind of fodder, aren't they? Yeah, I do not like cheapies. So here's like this is like a basically like a classic like early game tactic. It's just to bring out um, a tenant after a hero has passed their door, uh, so that you get that pincer going. Because uh, usually heroes won't be able to attack more than one unit or more than one direction at a time, uh, so it's a it's a good way to get some some extra damage in there. Well, yeah, early family started. Yeah, so sometimes you'll get uh, monsters that don't live in the building that fall in love with somebody who does live in the building and they'll move into their apartment. Uh, or if once we get a bigger building, sometimes what will happen is two of the same creature that live in different apartments, one will fall in love with the other and move in with them, which uh, obviously it opens up the possibility for them to have a kid, which will be stronger than their parents usually. And it opens up a free apartment to get one more monster in. A lot of it's about uh, trying to get your guys out of danger as early as possible so they're already, they'll have more health for the next battle, especially with the timing of the adventures coming. So a lot of times you'll want your melee guys to just run away while your magic guys are finishing them off. Right, right, yeah. right, right. So you're basically, you're basically kiting them at that yep, point. Yep, yep. Really clever. I mean, a lot of times that those last two points of health will mean the end of you or end of that Bongode guy. Oh, I can't fight him yet. I forgot I'm in a mission still. Honestly, one thing about the music that I find, I kind of lose myself in it. The uh, yeah. the atmospheric music. I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, I have adventures coming to try and destroy my stuff. I mean, it's it's one of the... I, I'm Honestly, it's like one of those soundtracks that I'm like... I, I can kind of... It's... There's not... I mean, you know, I love I love video game music. There's not a lot of soundtracks that I'm like, put on so you put in my car. It's like, just like chill out too. This is definitely one of them. I love the soundtrack yeah. of this game. I'm gonna have to get this cheapy to die soon. I do not want him in my apartment. They you always don't run out on me. Victim? They always run out on me. I let him give him honorable death. They, <laughs> I, they owe him that much. He was the first guy that moved in, so... <laughs> I think he was. Home. Too late for the fight. You missed son. I feel like we missed an opportunity to call to have one of the random natives make Mizutani. <laughs> That's a good point. We really missed an opportunity there. Just to just for anybody who doesn't who wouldn't know, and I guess most people wouldn't, uh, one of our uh, co-workers on the Plays and team is, uh, his name is Mizutani. And uh, Mizu being water, I think it would have been a great thing for one of these uh, water elementals to come up with the name Mizutani. Name. Yeah, that would be great. So how, how useful are those horse horses in the early game, the, the, the demi-humans? Oh, they're pretty useful. I just, I generally like the uh, the magician guys better. Mm -hmm. Just to have some kind of magic attacks, because I don't really like the elementals, even. Eventually I'll get rid of them. So, I usually, you know what, yeah, I'm going to kick this guy out. I want that magic guy. Sorry, um, Pippimon. But they're picky, so I gotta spend some money. I think they like a desk. I believe that's their key, actually. Okay. All right. Maybe. We'll see. And you can always, you can, you work? can. I'm pretty sure you can also look in the base area and, and see what they like. Sometimes it tells, and sometimes it doesn't. I mean, uh, they kind of keep some of them secret just to help you discover it. Right, 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 right. I don't think they say for him. Yeah, they just hate cheap furniture, but they also suck at paying rent. <laughs> 
they have expensive taste, but they don't have uh, they don't have the jobs to back it up. So yeah, I mean, early on it definitely looks like, you know, things are fairly simple, you only have one floor, but I think like once you get that second floor, some of the complexity of splitting up, you know, waves between two floors and stuff, a lot of that starts to come into play. Yeah, especially whenever you're on three and four, it really gets pretty hectic whenever you've got several waves of enemies and fighting on three different floors. Right, right. Definitely probably the hardest apartment to run in the world. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm quite sure. Oh. Looks like you, for now you're actually getting pretty lucky about... Like, lucky with when some people, some of your residents who are out, like when they're coming back, they're coming back at the right times. Yep. It happens pretty often, especially when the first, whenever you only have one floor, like there are times where you'll have a quest and everybody's out and you're just like, yeah. well, have fun with my money. <laughs> <laughs> you you get it now, because there's nobody here. Let's, uh, let's try and get some new furniture. I always like doing this quest. He's hard, but it's uh, rewarding if you can pull it off. Yeah, you get a new piece of furniture from him to, to buy. It's like they're just throwing money at you. <laughs> <laughs> get, get away from me! <laughs> nice, how, come I can't, how come I can't turn that money into gold? That's my question. Somebody pick that up. Come on, Whiteley. <laughs> Graphing calculator. Okay, you can have one, but your rent's going up. I mean, they really shouldn't complain. It's like what forty gold a month for rent, and, and I'm buying them something for two hundred gold. Furniture. <laughs> the uh, the the devil's a little bit more uh, altruistic than you would expect. Maybe electric fan. Alright, 120 gold, and you're gonna start paying as much as you possibly will. <laughs> Rent's <Okay>. too high. <laughs> we have a treaty. So let's see, you've got, is it only one family so far? Yep. The Bonaltons? Alright. Hopefully we can get uh, a wolf guy family, I think that'd be great. Yeah, I always try and raise one, but I usually can't. They're, uh, they're more like glass cannons, as you can see. Right, yeah. So I usually lose them pretty early. That's why I kind of like the Bonaltons, because I can just put them somewhere and forget about them for a little while. That's With the true. wolves, you have to keep them moving. But they're fast. They're fast and they, I mean, they've got good damage, don't they? Yeah, 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 pretty good damage. Yeah, just very low defense. Yeah, very low defense. Compared to these guys, yeah. And yeah, as you can see, it actually shows you what kind of stat bonuses you're getting, depending right, yeah. on how happy they are. Yeah, you can have a mirror then. Oops, where is that? It's under here. Oh, here we are. Room is meh. <laughs> yeah, 
know, despite the fact that the building really looks like this, like, crumbling, like, it looks like a slum right now, even after, like, that first, that first expansion, it actually looks considerably better. Yeah, yeah. It looks like a place work people... hard on it. Yeah, I mean, it, it just looks like a place that should not be condemned, you know, like, <laughs> this place looks like it should be condemned. I'm pretty sure it was before he bought it. <laughs> Probably. Somebody was promoted to a librarian. I think it was him. Yeah. <clears throat> so I get this at this point, really. I mean, are you? Do you think you're gonna get any other? Um, like, kick out any of these monsters for anything else until the first expansion? Um, probably not. We'll see. Thank you for coming home. <laughs> oh, nice! Getting stuck on that stairs. That's see, that's great. Like if you can, if you can um, get that, get one of them stuck on the stairs. Essentially, like, everybody behind them will be upstairs, which means they can't deliver any damage to anybody downstairs. So you're able to still attack unit by unit, but you're not dealing with all that collateral damage from everybody behind them. Yeah, especially with the magicians. You really gotta separate them, or they'll just hammer on you. Like, I don't have three magicians to fight back at this point. Yeah. I think that's one of the best ways to clear that level, is to wait for them. Especially because nobody was at home, I had to wait for them to come back. <laughs> Right, yeah, yeah. I do but like you... that you're able to steal the money back that they steal. See, that's that's the thing, is that, like, I mean, I think that's what, to me at least, it makes it more appealing than... Usually, I'm not much of, like, a coward of best person, to be honest. Uh, but that's mostly because, like, there's very little way to, kind of, like, make up for your mistakes after, like, let's say, some tower yep. has been destroyed, you're like, all right, well, I'm kind of screwed right now, there's nothing more I can do. I think that star grade for uh, Birth of the Prophet might be inaccurate. I don't think <laughs> a it's a one star. Bit, yeah, a little bit more difficult than it says. We'll see. I'm gonna try and just cut off the last guy. Yeah. And take on the other. Since... Oh no! Oh, there's nobody home. I should have looked closer. There you go, there you go. Nice. Well, the good thing is because they're, they're villagers, I mean, they can't attack through their own Yeah, way, so yeah. it's not that bad until the second and third waves this time. I love games that give you a time speed up button. Like, oh yeah. Oh, especially yeah. having all three is just very nice. I, I overuse it though, so I apologize to people in the stream that hate seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think well, I mean, especially when, you know, you're playing game for a long time. I mean you know what's gonna happen. You know whether or not you're gonna live through something. There's no point in like watching it slowly happen. You know? Getting close to Yeah, be careful of that, uh, that wolf guy. There you go. Pro, ta pro tactics right there. That was epic. Alright. Oh my god, not so early! I'm gonna have to get some early hits on these guys. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're already hurting from that last fight. You yeah. guys are already here. <clears throat> oh no. Oh well. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know if I can beat this one star left mission. Uh, yeah, screw that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, I mean, I think this is one of the few quests that's actually totally inaccurate. It's not one star. Uh, yeah. Sad face. I even lost my only family member. Actually, when we tried, uh... When we, we when we tried this stream the first time and we had audio issues, this exact same thing happened. I mean, like yeah. you lost yeah. your only family member. To I'm pretty sure this quest. I think that's just a troll quest, honestly. Puchi de Porto is just uh, trolling them with them. You're like, yeah, it's a one star. Go ahead, you'll be fine. Really. Oh shit, he's still weak. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I thought she was gonna go attack and then she just went home. Sometimes I think they no no, I think they always just go directly home anyway. Come on, another family member, please. Is everybody very happy? Alright, I'll give you a new bed. Happy tree. Portable radio. And you want a portable radio as well. Let's at least all give them clean walls, or cleaner walls. Or at least painted walls. I'll give him something nice. Alright. Alright, that's a bunch of my money. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna get a girlfriend already. Well, they better be damn grateful for what you're giving them. <laughs> They're not paying for any of this. Yeah, all I wanted to do is get a girlfriend and get busy so I can have some new generations of monsters. And give them some erotic cakes. Which I guess we haven't talked about yet. We'll have to show them the erotic cakes. Nope. Looking for love. This guy was looking for love for a second. <laughs> <laughs> and then gave up it. very quickly. Oh, this is a good time to explain that these guys are actually strong while it's raining, as you can see. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. So there's, um... Essentially, like, each of the monsters uh, has some sort of connection to the weather in some way. Uh, so some will be more powerful uh, in the sunlight, some will be more powerful at nighttime, some are more powerful in rain, inclement weather of all, uh, of all sorts. So, and, and, you know, those weather patterns are sort of random. It's not... Um, it's it's not necessarily the it needs to be that way to, for you to complete a quest, but it's more that it's like a little little extra layer of stat bonuses that you'll go through and might benefit you or might make things a little bit harder. Um, so it's a little bit you know extra complexity in there that actually like they really benefit from like both satisfied as well as raining, so they're like plus six in attack. That's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty high actually. That's why that last witch died in like two hits, basically. Alright. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. I want at least a couple more pairs. Ah, here there we you, go. There you go. Snarcy. Bone ribbon. Bone ribbon is ready. <laughs> I wonder if Wanted Gang would actually be easier. 
I, I honestly think it is, but I feel weird doing that one first. We'll see. I think I can take it still. Extra bone elton could be the biggest thing, like just that tank. I, you know, honestly, as much as you like the wolf guy, I think it might be worth kicking him out and getting a bone elton, just for just for something like misguided, like the misguided sheeple. Yeah, the thing is though, is the uh, the my home is the next Chimera. Oh right, right. So right. I keep them around just so I can get their uh, reputation up with them because I really like the mortar attack. Right, 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 Let's right. Come up. So yeah, why, why don't you explain a little bit about how like the reputation stuff works and how you get like the later monsters. So yeah, I mean some of them there are missions that allow you to unlock certain monsters. And I'm not sure if those are random, I think it's set one. But then other ones, depending on the reputation that the devil has with that family of monsters, you'll get more of their kind coming in. You can also buy symbols for apartments that will bring certain type of uh, monsters to your apartment block mm -hmm. and everything. Right, uh, and we haven't seen any fishy ones yet, but uh, I guess we could explain those too. I mean, like essentially, like how they attract other yeah. abyssals is different from the other families. Well, it's only have. it's only one type, I believe, as well. One type of abyssal can use a special item, and it prays for more of them to come to the block. Right, it's only the fishy ones can use the altars. Yeah, yeah. Out of the all of the abyssals, where is that? Yeah, it has its own special line, even. Yeah, we'll get one of those whenever we get to the part two. All right, I guess we'll try it one more time. Let's yeah, I, you know, I believe in you, man. <laughs> go, go for it. See that the star is also green. It's so inviting. It's like no trouble. It's easy. It's go, go ahead. Come on, somebody join. I want another family member. Make it a little bit happier. You already have a portable radio, you bastard. Getting demanding, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. They better get busy with their girlfriends at some point. I need kids. Cheap labor to take over the world. <laughs> what? If, uh, if, you know, the, I, I know that the devil is probably totally into cheap labor. After all, he spent, like, the last of his savings on the apartment. He just can't afford it anymore. Minimal health loss. I think that was a good start. Yeah, those yeah. are definitely a, a good start. Just in case, I'm gonna throw a couple of these in the rooms, even if I use them on the next mission. So basically, if you send a guy back to their room while they have these vitamin drinks and stuff, or only the vitamin drinks and the recovery potions, they'll use them... When they get back. Yeah, only during a battle. So... So essentially, if you click on them to retreat, and then they return all the way back to their home, and there's a vitamin thing in there, they'll automatically drink it, it'll get them some health back quickly. But they, they're automatically, they're healing just a little bit when they're at home, though, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But this is just a jump start of, of yep. health. Nice, that's one down. Oh, oh god. I don't want you all to go up. <laughs> <laughs> you go back. You go back. Yeah, you see, he's healing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, no, that's that's awesome. Yeah, no, that's that's a good idea. How much of those uh those vitamin drinks? Cost? Only a hundred gold. Oh, so it's totally worth it to go yep. to the room when you need him. Get them in range, hell yeah. It's not a bad 
let's start. Oh, he's stuck. Oh, no. Ooh. Ooh. That's too bad. That's a, that's a real... That hurts. That's a big hit to your, your army right there, losing that for health. Can you bring out your wolf guy? Uh, oh, it's too low. I think I got it. Oh no, don't go in there! Whew. Oh my god. Wow, congratulations. That was, that was really bad to skin your team. That was pretty bad. No, I want another bone elephant. Ooh, uh, oh. Oh well. I would wait for the next. I think once your first expansion, you just get a fishy one because you're gonna have to put an altar into one of those rooms anyway. Yeah. Take on Bungle. So when I was working on the, the localization for this originally, uh, I was looking up why originally his name was like Bomgole, right? In Japanese. And I looked it up. It's actually I mean, it's a pasta preparation. Yeah. And that's I was like, oh, we gotta keep that. That's hilarious. You know? What a great name for for a hero. He has like the most ridiculous like name. It's like a pasta fight. Ooh. Oh, that's unfortunate. You did get, you did complete the quest, but you lost someone. It's unfortunate. There's a family member too. I'm having bad luck with that this time. I'm just not skilled enough. <clears throat> I just think the issue is right now you your, your the general defense of your 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 group of, of monsters is rather low. Like other than the bone elephant, most of them are relatively weak. Yeah, maybe we'll get rid of this guy, but he's really happy. <laughs> maybe he's really happy because he thought you were gonna get rid of him by now. <laughs> I usually don't have a problem keeping the Bone Elton families going because they come around so often. Maybe I'll, uh. You think you're ready? We'll see. Ooh, that was close. Can't hurt. Especially for the melee characters, this is definitely a good idea. Yeah. Keep raining, that will help. No, oh, but he's gone. <laughs> he left and then it stopped raining. Literally the two things you didn't want. Nobody's home except him. Oh man. <laughs> They're just happily stealing everything. There you go. 
There you go. Nice. Worst part is he's weak to magic. Oh, not that bad, actually. No, this, you're, you're doing well. You're good. There you go. Nice. The yeah, guy is back from cowering in the devil's uh, <laughs> penthouse. Nice. That went a lot more smoothly than I, uh, I expected it to, I think. Uh, that boss is pretty easy. He's, uh, he's kind of slow. Yeah. If you hit him with the magic, that's why I like having the two magic guys, honestly. I usually go with this setup for my first uh, floor. Awesome. Now time to aim for a fishy one. I want a fishy one. Oh, but no! Wow, such bad timing. <laughs> it's the legendary hero. Oh no. He just gives up immediately. I love that. I'll see you one day. I think it's a great tease, for sure. Yeah. It's genius. Nope, I do not want any cheapies. You bastards are cheap. Nice. Let's just get another, uh... Oh. Maybe... Got another one of these guys. Another wolf. I like getting wolves. Come on, wolf guy. Nope, I don't want you. Sure. So is there, is there already a, an altar in the fishy ones? Uh, yep, yep, awesome. that's what I got him to bring it in. Very nice. So is uh, that Bon Alton that's on the second floor, is that is a, a single female? Yep, single female. Single female, unfortunately. Let's see, it's pretty rare to see, like, two monsters in the building get together. It happens, but it's pretty rare. Yeah. Usually they come from the outside. I don't know what I should aim for the last one, honestly. I would get one of these guys, but they hate each other, and I want to unlock more of the demons. I guess we'll just get another demon eye. Oh, and a female one. Good. I like how most of the females just have like a bow on top. It's the same it's thing, just, they the look bow. exactly like like what the um, yeah. There's a couple that are you just look at them. You're like, you are this like hideous monster with like a cute bow on your head. Yeah. Like the the pulpa messies, which yeah. we haven't seen yet in the game. Uh, but uh, yeah, disgusting, but with a bow. I mean, that makes it all right, right? <laughs> okay, good. As we'll do. Oh, you know, if you had more. Of the water elementals, I would say do uh, rain champions. Yeah, I'll 
Probably won't get any more though. Like I really don't like the elementals that much. Because I hate abyssals. Yeah. <clears throat> they turn into fodder at some point. That fishy one to live. Yep. That was close. Alrighty. Is anybody unhappy? You're ecstatic. Why are you so happy? Rent's too low. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you think. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody's rent's gonna have to go up. Especially you. I don't even want you around, actually, if you're gonna be such a bitch. Pass out tired. You can have some happy wallpaper. I like the wolf guy's a scalper. <laughs> I did not realize that. A clown. <laughs> <laughs> I love some of the jobs in this. Strangely apropos that a demon would be a, gra a grave digger. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's almost dead, so I'm not gonna do any quests for a little while. Actually, I was wondering if you wanted to uh, wrap it up and we can save a little more of this for the next time that we stream. Yeah, it sounds good. I think uh, I think we've shown quite a lot of the game so far, and I just I would like to keep a little mystique for some of the later monsters. I agree, it's a good idea. We've only we haven't seen any of the second uh, level monsters yet. Yeah, I think that's gonna be really interesting the next time we do it. So I think the next time we're gonna be doing it is hopefully next weekend. I think that's the plan. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Uh, so as always, guys, thank you for joining us. You can follow us on Twitter at Playism E-N, and on Facebook, facebook.com slash Playism. And of course, our blog is Playism.tv. Um, I'm Nyan. And I'm Josh Weatherford from uh, Playism. And uh, we will see you next time. I'll make sure to drop all the details about um, the next stream on the blog and on the Facebook and Twitter. So catch you next time. Thanks a lot, guys. All right, thanks a lot.